Uh, good afternoon, friends. Today we are at the Gyan Bhavan, the Kotler Award. This is the World Marketing Summit 2020. And we have uh, Professor Hansen. He's uh, coming from Belgium. I'm from, from Los Angeles. Los Angeles, so yes. Oh, yeah, he's born in Belgium. Yeah. And he comes in from Los Angeles. He's uh, at the University of California. That's UK, UCLA. Right. And he's just given a lecture. He's given a presentation about the marketing scene today. And he's talking about the big, you know, giants and how they're facing competition. Right. So we, and even uh, before you, Laura was there and she's right. even given a lot of perspective. Right. Right. Yeah. Yes. So uh, we want to understand uh, what's the scene now today. In Globe, like and with China, Laura mentioned China is, okay, why? Now because of this virus spreading. So yeah. China is going to lose, do you think? Yeah. Well, look. The virus, of course, is a problem, and uh, let's hope there's a vaccine very quickly and that it gets treated very quickly. But but that's not a long-term problem. All right. That, that, that is a problem for right now. And uh, 2020, we should be out of it? it? Well, hopefully before that. I mean, hopefully in just a few months. All right. But, but I, you know, I don't know. I, don't, I have not seen the, the, the recent data. But uh, more, more strategically, I, yes. I think that... Um, this country, India in particular, is well, well positioned for yeah. the future. All right. For example, relative to China. Yes. Because India is largely English speaking, it has a lot of young people, it has a very good educational system, it's a democracy. Those are all formulas for success yes. going forward. And I, I, I sense tremendous enthusiasm here and dynamism. And so uh, I think that India is already an important yeah. when you're talking in the world. about uh, When you're talking about India, so like we have our Prime Minister, Narendra Modi, yeah. he must be watching it. And he's doing a lot of work. He had yeah. the President Putus, the President of America, United States, right. Donald Trump, right. whom they've uh, developed friendship or bonding. Right. So right. you think that the Prime Minister's vision of a trillion, you know, five trillion dollar economy is going to be uh, uh, seen in the future, like you're expecting in the next four to five I, years? Yeah, well, I can't speak for the, the, the Prime Minister's plans. I, I'm yes. not sufficiently no, familiar with it. Yes. But, 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 but I'm looking at, at, at the Indian economy and what it's good at, right. and the usefulness of the population, yes. and the quality education. Okay? Uh, those are factors that are going to propel it. I mean, you already... value the products made in India? Do you value yeah. the products? Yeah, but, or, but look at... Okay, so I'm in California. We have all these high technology companies. Yes. But the people who work there, there's a lot of Indian people. Right. They are extremely valuable. Yes. Okay? And so some of these people will come back to India and, and new people will stay in India. Yes. Okay, because the conditions are better. But they're the, it's the same talent. Okay. And so that talent doesn't have to emigrate anymore. It can stay in India and contribute to the Indian society. Yes, and what uh, sectors, like suppose we talk about automobiles or chemicals yeah. or plastics or IT, so what sectors are you thinking is going to be the next decade, the growth, you know? Well, I mean, it's, it's, it's obviously dealing with high, putting high technology to work in important new sectors. So, for example, healthcare. Healthcare, okay. okay. Healthcare, we um, need major innovation yes. coming from technology. We need to help doctors diagnose people. We need to bring doctors together with patients using digital technology yes. uh, and so forth. Uh, healthcare seems to be very, very powerful. Right. So when we're talking about artificial intelligence oh, yeah. and everything is going, yeah. so this is going to be the major yeah. disruptor yeah. in the future. Yeah. yeah. Think about it. If you, have a, if, you, if you see a single doctor and that doctor has seen maybe 50 patients like you before, so his or her experience is based on 50 people. Okay. Yeah, right. But why not have a database with 5 million people on okay. it who have the same symptoms? So you believe in large numbers? Yeah, All in right. order to draw inferences and, and understand the conditions under which treatment A is better than treatment B. Yes. Absolutely. Great. Yeah. Uh, lastly, uh, before we end up, we want to ask you how do you feel to come to India, and especially for the Kotler Awards and the right. World Marketing Summit. What's yeah. your, uh, how do you feel here? Well, it's, it's a wonderful I, I see so many uh, really uh, important executives here who are part of this movement. I see a lot of young people, young, young executives, and you know the facility is great. And uh, I think this country is ripe for practicing better marketing going forward. Okay. And, uh, and my question, my question, inquisitive, you know, yeah. is that have you met the czar of marketing, Philip Kotler? 
Have you met him? Oh, my, many times. Oh, many so, times. So, so, yeah. yeah, so that's what I told you was a method. Yeah. I'm calling him the czar of marketing. Right. You know? right. that, that's okay. Uh, it's even in my management days, yeah. we read his books. You know? Right, yeah. So, no, I've uh, read some yes. too. So, yeah. you want to share any experience you had with Philip Kotler? Well, Philip Kotler, first of all, is a very, very intelligent and smart person. He wrote a book that's not very well known on, on quantitative marketing back in the 70s. I still use that book. Okay. okay. And he, he was way ahead of, 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 of his time. Yes. And then secondly, true. he knows about branding, right? Great. He knows about branding himself, yes. right? And his books, he works very hard because the books keep on being renewed. New editions come out right. all the time. Okay. And then lastly, he's a very nice, charming person yeah, and, and a really good citizen. Yes, and yeah. his, at his age, he's delivering so much. Yeah. That speaks volumes for the man himself. Absolutely. And, and then everybody's taking note, you know. Right. I mean, so, so, so thank you. Yeah. Uh, I would address you again as Dominic Hansons. Okay. Thank if you. that's correct. That's correct. <laughs> that's perfect. That's so correct, we yeah. wish you a lovely stay in India. Uh, this is Sanjay Agarwal with Aditi. Uh, we are at the Vigyan Bhavan at the World Marketing Summit 2020. This is a 10th such summit, yes. as we've been told. Yes. And we look forward in the future to have also many other summits.